everybody. This is an unexpected video. Today we're gonna do a first impressions, an unboxing of the Carolina Herrera Beauty line that was launched at Harrods. I received most of my order. There's a couple of pieces missing. I'll explain and go through the details but all of the products themselves are here. Again, I'll go into details. So if you're interested in hearing more about the Carolina Herrera collection and seeing what I bought, stay tuned. Okay, so let's first get started with what I bought. So first is the highlighter. Second is the powder. I got this in spring porcelain, which I think is the lightest color. I bought three of the lipsticks. I have two satins and one sheer. I did not get any of the mattes. So I got the Nude Minimal, which is 341, the Mocha Craze in 342, and the Nude Touch, which is the sheer, in 142. The way that this collection works is they all come separate. So you have the powders, the highlighters, and then you have cases to go with them. So for the powder and the highlighter, it's a compact case and then you have covers. So I received the highlighter, I received the powder, but I didn't receive the compact itself. I did receive the covers, the compact covers that I ordered. There's a whole bunch of different designs. They're all really gorgeous. I'll put a picture of the compact uh, above so you can see what the compact looks like. And then I'll show you the two compact covers that I bought. That's one. And here's the other. And since you can see the, the compact in the picture that I posted, it's a um, octagonal compact and you just put the cover on the top and then you put the highlighter and the powder inside. So I'll go ahead and I'll put on the highlighter and you can see how that looks. And I will also put on the powder. I'll probably use a bronzer as well just to put the whole look together. So it comes in this little plastic case which you just open like this, and then the product's inside. So that's how I'm gonna use it today. Again, when I talk to Harrods and figure out what happened to the compacts, I will let you know, I don't know where they are. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna use the NARS uh, Laguna bronzer, which has been re-released, uh, their new NARS, I forget what it's called, but there's a, a release right now with Laguna in different packaging and there's lip oils and a whole bunch of other things. I did buy a mini Laguna, it's just a tiny little size. For when I'm back traveling again, this is actually um, a bronzer that I do enjoy. It's been around for a long time. And uh, I just thought it would be good to have in a small size. Since it came out, I, I went ahead and, and ordered it. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of this. And I'll swatch it for you guys as well so you guys can see. I am wearing the Chanel Warm Quad on my eyes. I'm actually just using one color from the, it's not a quad. Uh, I'm using the Chanel Warm Eyeshadow Palette that just came out. Uh, just using one color on my eyes today. I did a very simple look because I really wanted to focus on this collection. That is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. If you're interested in, a, in purchasing it, it's, it's, it's a really nice color. I think it's a pretty decent bronzy. It's not too warm, not too cool. They do have a lighter shade. I actually was going to buy the lighter shade. I did not, but I still might. I haven't decided yet. Maybe with the Sephora sale coming up. I will have a video, by the way, about the what to if you're interested in the Sephora sale, what might be some good ideas to buy and what's in my cart. That's coming soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the highlighter. There's the highlighter. It's a cream product, so it's got, it's like a very soft, creamy, um, it almost feels silky. Very pretty. I think you could also put it on, I'm gonna try with my finger. Yes, yeah, so if you put it on with your hand, you're gonna have, I think, a lot more oomph to it. Or you can use a brush that, that isn't, um, 
that isn't dyed so that it works with a cream product. I think you can, yeah, you can see, if I go like this, you can see it. It's really nice. If you guys like, if you like a cream highlight, that's very pretty. It's a gorgeous texture. Like I said, silky is the best way to, to describe it. Okay, so that's the highlighter. I'm gonna put on, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it so you guys can see it. I'm gonna put the powder on over that since I'm not doing any other cream products. No, I'm not doing any other cream products. I'm talking to myself, basically now. Okay, so same packaging. So with the powder, this is the, I think this is the lightest. Yeah, there's definitely a scent. Um, I don't know what that is. It's actually really light and it's very pretty. It may be, Carolina Herrera does have a fragrance. She may have more than one fragrance. I'll put it down below. So it might be her fragrance or one of her fragrances, but it, it dissipates quickly. It's not, it's not lingering, but it's very nice. It's very light. It's really pretty. So that's what the powder looks like. I'd swatch it for you, but you're not, you're not gonna see anything if I swatch it. Literally, it's, it's not gonna show up. You will also notice that my skin is probably a little bit tanner than it usually looks because I have been indoors, literally indoors, not out at all in three weeks, and even I was feeling pale. I mean, I'm always pale, but I felt even paler than pale. So I tried a self-tanner. My favorite self-tanner was the La Mer. Um, gradual tan, but they discontinued that. That was perfect for me because it was just very, very light. It just sort of gave me a glow. I don't know why they discontinued that. It literally was my favorite product ever. But anyway, tangent. Uh, but anyway, I did try a self tanner last night to give myself a little bit of color because it was getting, it was getting scary. I looked, I looked ill. Um, okay, let's go to the lipsticks. Totally different, totally different issue. Uh, let's start with the sheer so that we can, I'll, I'll put them all on my lips. I do not have anything on my lips. I don't have liner or anything. So this is how they come. They come like this. And you have to buy the, the caps individually. And again, they all have different designs. And this, I'll put it on the lipstick for you. And then you can see the design. I just really like that one. And then I got the compact case to match. Okay, so again, this is Nude Touch. This is the sheer. I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see it. Silky, no scent. Well, it's really hard, it's like a light scent, but it's so light. It's like I'm imagining there's a scent. It feels really good on the lips. Again, this is a sheer, so there's not a lot of color, but I actually love this color. It's a great, for me, it's a great nude, pinky nude. It's perfect, I would wear this. I have a feeling this is gonna end up in my, this is one of those that's gonna end up in my purse. It does have this little thing on top. You can get little ornaments to hang on these as well. I did not buy any of those. It feels good, feels hydrating. It's really pretty, I, I really, it's, and it's gorgeous. I, these, I don't think these are, they're not magnetized, it's just a click. Okay, let's go on to the second one. The second one is Nude Minimal. You sense a trend here. I did a lot of nudes. I wasn't really, I know it's spring and I know everybody's doing like pinks and oranges and reds and I'm just, I'm either not there yet, maybe it's a mental thing and it just doesn't seem right to have, I don't know, I don't know I'm just not in a bright color mood. I'll, I'm sure I will get there. Uh, soon, hopefully. So, this is Nude Minimal 341, the cap that I'm gonna put with this one, and they're all interchangeable, so you can put the cap on any one you wanted. I'm just picking. Was this design. And this is a this is a nude nude. This is a very light color. It almost has like an apricot color to it. 
I think it would look gorgeous on a darker skin tone. It would be really, it would be a real pop on a lighter skin tone with mine. It's, I think it's gonna need a lip liner to really make it work because it's just a little bit too, it kind of blends with my skin. Unless you're looking for that look, like if you're gonna do a really dramatic eye and you want a neutral, neutral um, lip, if I took something like the Chocolat, the Sisley Chocolat liner in this, I think that would work. It's pretty, it feels nice. This is the satin, you can see it a little closer. Yeah, it's a nice, like I said, it's it's a neutral, it's a nude nude. Like there's, for someone of my skin color, it's gonna blend. Okay, and the last one is the, I lost my place. The last one is the Mona, no, Mocha Craze. And the cap that I got for this one is, just the um, simple style, all black. I just like the way it looked with the gold top. And like I said, they all have these, so you can put charms on them if you want to. Well, I can tell you right now, this is my favorite color. Uh, that's not a surprise. I am a, I am a sucker for a brown, pinky, mauvey, nude color. Uh, yeah, this is a great color. I really like it. The, the formula on these is really nice. The, the sheer and the satin. There is a scent. I'll find out, I'll find out in, if I can in the description what type of scent it's supposed to be. Um, it kind of smells like violet a little bit to me, but I'm not sure. It's, it's a really nice formula. It's creamy. I'm, I'm smiling broadly to see if it like spreads out. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of the Hermes, the creaminess, although that I think that lipstick's a little bit thicker. The Jimmy Choo is thinner than this. Yeah, I think this is a really nice, nice formula. It, it goes on really well. It's hydrating. It's got good coverage. It's really pretty. I mean, obviously I'll have to play around with it a little bit more and wear it for a longer time just to give you any in-depth thoughts on it. But my first thoughts are that it's really pretty. The, the ease of use is great. The colors I really like. The Nude Touch Sheer and the Mocha Craze Satin are my two favorites. The other one, the Nude Minimal, I think it's a really good color. I, it's definitely nude. I think I just need a lip liner in it for it to work for me. But other than that, I think they're great. The highlight is a gorgeous creamy highlighter. If you like, like a, it's it's silky. That's how I would explain it. The powder is really nice. I mean, it 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 smoothed everything out. It didn't dry out my skin. Again, I'm gonna have to give it time to see how it settles and everything. But first thoughts is it's really pretty and it, it didn't, it's not cakey. Um, and it's really, I would, what I would say about her entire line, silky would be the word I would use. If you're not familiar with Carolina Herrera, she's a Venezuelan designer who's been around for a long time. She moved her operations to New York in the 80s. She's dressed a lot of first ladies. She has impeccable style and class. She's a stunning woman in and of herself, but she just always has this regal sense to her. If you've ever seen her talk or in her designs, everything is impeccable and it's it's just really well done. And I think her her beauty line is the same. It's just, the designs are really well thought out. They're beautiful, they're timeless. And the feel of all of them has this silky, I don't know, like upscale feel. And, and they're really nice. I'll, I'll give you more details about how they wear once I'm able to do that. But first impressions is that I really enjoy them. And I think I'm really gonna enjoy the compacts when they come because I think these designs are just gorgeous. I mean, think about that, like just carrying that around. And the compact, as you saw, is the same shape. It's just, you know, regular compact where you put in your powder or your highlighter. So um, once I have that, I will, I will post pictures of it. So those are my first thoughts. If you're interested, it's available on Harrods. You can get all the interchangeable pieces. There's other designs. I only picked up a few. 
but my first thoughts are it's it was I, I really like them so far so and again I, I didn't try the mats that was the one thing that's on there or any of the charms so that's it for today thanks so much for joining me as always if you could hit like if you could hit subscribe that would be great I welcome any comments or questions and I hope to see you again in another video thanks so much bye